And now, live from the studio of Shruti Kapoor in today's breaking news in React. Create React app is now deprecated. The community has broken into protest on the streets of San Francisco. Let me take you live from the streets of San Francisco where the community has broken into protests. Reporting live from San Francisco is Shruti Kapoor for React News. Just kidding. Nobody cared. There were no protests. Everybody was ready for this. And if you have been following the best practices, you hopefully don't have create React app in your project. But for a full coverage, let's find out what React team said when you were all having your Valentine's meal with your loved one. React decided to break your heart. Let's get into it. Hello everyone. I am Shruti Kapoor, your favorite developer, entertainer, educator, here to help you understand this breaking news of Create React app being officially deprecated. It was a long time coming, but finally, the announcement is out that Create React app is being deprecated. Let's first go through the blog post to understand what it means. This may actually not be a surprise to most of you if you've been following the recommendation of React, which is to not use Create React app. In fact, my course on O'Reilly that I created for React Fundamentals is also using Vite instead of Create React app. On February 14th, Create React app has been finally deprecated. So let's talk about what it means. In this blog post published by React on sunsetting Create React app, they say we encourage existing apps to migrate to a framework. I think this is going to be a big lift for apps that are already using Create React app to actually move to a new framework. But let's keep reading. So it says the reason for deprecating Create React app is because it it made it difficult to build a high performance production app and there were no active maintainers for Create React app. And if you install a new app with Create React app, you will see this create react app is deprecated in fact the recommendation that they provided is to use next.js app react router or expo but before we talk about how to migrate away from create react app let's actually talk about its limitations as well which they actually highlight here they say that the problems of create react app which some of you may know is that routing is not present in create react app which is true for react.js as well because create react app does not come with a routing solution you typically would either use use state to switch between routes or end up using an external library like React Router or Tanstack Router, which is true with React.js today as well. The next problem that they talk about is data fetching. Another common problem in React Create React app is data fetching, uh, that it does not include a specific data fetching solution, which is true for React.js today as well. And so instead of uh, using use effect, actually they recommend against calling an API in use effect. They recommend using a data fetching library like React Query, SWR, Apollo, or Relay. And the final problem to talk about is code splitting. Create React app does not include a specific code sol splitting solution. So if you're just getting st started, you might not consider code splitting at all, which is actually a good point that they mention it because a lot of the frameworks take care of it for you. And then they talk about there are some other problems in Create React app like accessibility. I'm glad that they mentioned accessibility as the first one, but that could also be because it's organized in terms of, because it's alphabetically sorted. Um, static site generation, streaming, server-side running, some of these problems are solved by frameworks. And so their actual recommendation is to use a framework, a Next.js, React Router, and Expo being the ones that they recommend. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I have always been the kind of person who does not want to reach for frameworks just when getting started with React. In fact, that was one of the things that I left about React, which is you can get started without having to reach for a framework. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to start off with Vite. My, it's my go-to for everything. And then anytime I need more than one route, I end up adding Tanstack router. And if I need data fetching optimizations, I end up adding Tanstack query. So that is the stack that I'm going to go with. My go-to is going to be Vite, Tanstack router, and Tanstack query as and when I need it. Also, there are other approaches that you could take, which is NX if you need like a monorepo type setup. Next.js and Remix, which is the recommended approach that uh, React mentions for full stack capabilities, comes with server side rendering as well. And Astro, which is actually perfect for marketing or blog sites, which is what I'm going to convert my homepage into as well. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. But every now and then I do need server side rendering or server components. And in that case, I will be reaching for Next.js and adding Next.js to my React app. That's the approach I'm using. I would love to know how are you going to approach Create React Apps application? Are you going to move to a framework? Are you going to end up using Vite or something else? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. This is React News and I'm Shruti Kapoor. Thank you.